Attorney Bill Morgan blasts Coinbase once more for refusing to support XRP in secondary market sales. Will June 13th, by the way, be a busy day for all cryptos? Is a settlement between Ripple and the SEC on the horizon? Finally, according to a prominent analyst who detected the creation of a DU pattern on its weekly chart, XRP is on a path to a $6.04 price. Continue reading to the end to find out more. Hello and welcome to our channel, where we discuss the newest XRP news and the cryptocurrency world in general. If you are watching one of our videos for the first time, we would gladly offer you a special greeting. We encourage you to enable notifications so you never miss any video. We are pleased to announce that this channel is hosting a 200 XRP giveaway. To have a chance, all you have to do to participate is subscribe to the channel and like this video. Just use the hashtag XRP in your comment, and the winner will be notified on June 15th. Bill Morgan, a prominent lawyer, criticizes Coinbase for refusing to facilitate XRP secondary market sales. Bill Morgan, a prominent Australian-based lawyer, criticizes Coinbase for refusing to facilitate XRP secondary market sales. The pro-XRP lawyer made the statement while building on an earlier remark in which he criticized the American exchange for discrepancies. According to him, Coinbase's comments in its response to this SEC's Wells notice were inconsistent with the exchange's behavior regarding XRP. He included a piece of Coinbase's response to the Wells notice in which the exchange maintained that secondary market transactions do not involve an investment contract, regardless of whether an issuer was marketing at the time of each transaction on its platform. It is understandable, according to Attorney Morgan, if Coinbase prohibits Ripple or its intermediates from selling XRP on its platform. He claimed, however, that Coinbase has stopped supporting XRP secondary market transactions in their entirety, including sales that are unrelated to Ripple in any way. Morgan committed to continuing to expose the exchange's flaws. Regardless of these differences, he voiced his support for Coinbase throughout its legal battle with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. It is worth noting that Coinbase stopped supporting XRP trading less than a month after the SEC sued Ripple for breaking federal securities laws. While attorney John Deaton believes Coinbase's decision was motivated by the exchange's strategy, several XRP advocates, like Morgan, considered the trade unfair to the coin and its supporters at the time. Notably, despite the SEC's designation, Coinbase did not discontinue support for Algorand. Attorney Morgan made his latest remark in response to a tweet from Jess Hines, founder of the equity crowdfunding portal Seatstarter. In the discussion, Hines implored members of the XRP community to look past tribalism and embrace victims. Hines stated that Coinbase and Binance might have done more in the beginning. He did, however, add that other crypto communities considered Ripple and XRP supporters as the bad guys. With the SEC suing Coinbase and Binance and classifying many crypto assets, including ADA and BNB, as securities, additional members of the cryptocurrency ecosystem have begun to speak out against the regulator's harsh enforcement actions. Interestingly, XRP supporters have not made things easy for the latest SEC legal struggle victims, reminding these crypto fans of their prolonged quiet in the aftermath of Ripple's lawsuit. And be the bigger person by accepting other crypto fans who oppose the SEC's hostile stance. It's time to be the friendly outcast who has seen it all and understands. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell to be among the first to learn of the latest XRP developments. XRP Eleanor Terrett, a Fox Business journalist, revealed that June 13, 2023, could be a busy day for the cryptocurrency business. Fox Business writer Eleanor Terrett revealed in a tweet on June 7 that June 13, 2023, may be a busy day for the Bitcoin business. The date of the anticipated release of Hinman's documents, according to the pro-crypto journalist, coincides with the House Financial Services Committee hearing on crypto legislation. Terrett stated this in response to her prior tweet. Chairman Patrick McHenry has scheduled the next congressional crypto hearing for Tuesday, June 13, 2023, at 18 o'clock UTC, 
according to Terrett. The digital asset ecosystem needs clarity. It should be noted that the hearing will be held at the Rayburn House office building. In context, the congressional hearing is part of the United States' efforts to establish clear regulations for the emerging market. McHenry cited numerous reasons in a recent video why politicians must get the process right. To begin, authorities must enable consumer protection while also harnessing innovation. Furthermore, McHenry stated that federal authorities such as the CFTC and the SEC must coordinate for the sole goal of protecting U.S. clients. The upcoming congressional crypto hearing will concentrate on establishing regulatory clarity for the digital asset ecosystem, which includes the cryptocurrency business. Surprisingly, crypto aficionados are hoping that the hearing would address SEC Chair Gary Gensler's recent crackdown on cryptocurrency businesses. Meanwhile, Hinman's doctors have recently received a great deal of attention. According to Judge Annalisa Torres' sealing order in the SEC v. Ripple action, the document is slated to be made public on June 13. Hinman's documents detail internal SEC considerations in the run-up to William Hinman's 2018 address on cryptocurrencies, in which he proclaimed Bitcoin and Ethereum to be non-securities. Furthermore, the XRP community is still reacting to Ripple's recent pronouncements. Members of the XRP community are still reacting to Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse's recent words. CEO Brad Garlinghouse Garlinghouse stated that SEC Chair Gary Gensler's ostensibly pro-innovation stance is opposed to the Commission's enforcement activities against cryptocurrency. Garlinghouse's remark came in response to this SEC's crackdown on leading cryptocurrency exchanges Binance and Coinbase, as well as SEC Chairperson Gensler's recent comments on digital currency. According to Garlinghouse, the SEC sued Binance and Coinbase to divert attention away from the fact that they were caught off guard by the November collapse of the FTX ecosystem, that he and his agency lack the power he so desperately desires. The Ripple CEO's remark elicited emotions from XRP aficionados who are eagerly awaiting the conclusion of the ongoing SEC legal battle against Ripple. In response to the remark, an XRP community member stated that Garlinghouse's stronghold, the tweet's contents could portend an unfavorable conclusion in the company's legal dispute with the SEC. The statements, according to the Twitter user, imply that the lawsuit may be heading to trial. Attorney Hogan responded to recent speculation by emphasizing that any suggestion of a settlement in the SEC v. Ripple lawsuit was premature. Hogan's comments came less than 24 hours after popular crypto writer Zach Rector revealed that Ripple is on the verge of reaching an agreement with the SEC. Notably, talks of a possible settlement in the SEC v. Ripple lawsuit have been ongoing since last month. Because of Judge Annalisa Torres' sealing decision, many people believe the parties will reach an agreement. Remember when Judge Torres refused that SEC's attempt to seal drafts of William Hinman's 2018 cryptocurrency speech? Despite the SEC's efforts to keep the material sealed, the judge issued the ruling. With Hinman's emails slated to be made public on June 13, 2023, Numerous supporters believe that SEC will finally cave to pressure and reach an agreement with Ripple to keep the material secret. Last month, the author of the Wall Street Bulls financial blog claimed that the SEC had already settled with Ripple. It is worth emphasizing that Ripple is willing to reach an agreement with the SEC. The major blockchain business, on the other hand, has stated that it will only settle with the SEC if the agency gives regulatory certainty for XRP. Is XRP headed for a $6.04 price? Now for the big question of the day. Is XRP on its way to $6.04? Please remember to subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell. To be among the first to learn about the latest XRP developments. Despite the decline caused by the SEC's actions against Binance and Coinbase, XRP has strongly defended the support above $0.50. In this resiliency, A. Gregg, a talented analyst, has recognized the creation of a due pattern on XRP's weekly chart, indicating a run to a range of $5.05 to $6.04.
According to him, if XRP forms the W pattern using the logarithmic scale, it might reach these price targets on the way to the twilight zone. As the ultimate price aim, the analyst sets a Fibonacci target of 1.618. It is worth noting that, while EGRAG sees a $6.04 ultimate price objective, pro XRP attorney John Deaton predicts a higher price. As previously stated, Deaton stated in a recent interview that he expects XRP to skyrocket between $2 and $10 if the SEC action is resolved in Ripple's favor. Deaton also stated that XRP FOMA will begin when XRP reaches $2. So, gentlemen, we've reached the end of this video. If you loved it, please share the video, subscribe, and click the notification bell. This is quite beneficial to my understanding of the YouTube algorithm. Also, by sharing this video with as many people as possible, you can help enlighten others as you have been enlightened. Guys, let's spread the word everywhere. Don't miss any of our stuff if you're a true Bitcoin enthusiast. See you tomorrow to discuss the newest news that affects us all as a community.